All right, guys, Live Oak Police, Florida. See the traditional gang sign out here? Got some vehicles here, traffic vehicle. I'll walk back and see if we have any other vehicles here. Looks like you do. We have a meetup spot. So we know this is public access. Got a meetup spot here, so this is definitely public access. Public's allowed to be here, They're allowed to meet here. It's one of those safe trade zones for like Craigslist or whatever. So I haven't seen no restricted access signs. So I'm back here looking at our vehicles that we pay for, making sure that they're kept in good condition while they're being used. I like their little motto there, police and citizens together. It's very uh, propaganda-y. <laughs> Not even really a word, but Mm-hmm. Looks like maybe some personal vehicles. Actually, this one's a, definitely a cop car. It's got two little lights in the back window. You can barely see them. Yep. Yep. Right into the water table, right there. If I did that or you did that, that's a five thousand dollar fine. Mm-hmm. I deal with that every time you give something. Yep. That's the law, Looks like these guys drain all their water right down into the ditch there. I didn't see no cameras now. See, looks like cameras up on the roof here. Maybe those are light bulbs. Yeah, those are lights. <laughs> Got some uh, Americana benches here. Back to blue. Yeah. Records, Hawkins. Hello. This is How are you today? I just stopped in to say hello. Every day. Will I get to copy your video? Oh God. Is that called a cam back? You gotta hold it sideways. You, got, you can't, when you first turn it on, hold it sideways before you turn it on. It'll get a way better, better picture. That's Jennifer Rand. If you wanna be professional, you gotta be professional here. <laughs> Where can I publicly 
request some records at? This lady right lady. behind me. The lady over here? Yeah, she walked out of her office. Uh, I'm in a happier mood than I was the other time we met. And I see you are too, so that makes both of us. No professional business today, I hope. <laughs> right? Right? You have a good day. Are y'all all together? Yes. Y'all want to come film the rest of it? Sure. Yeah. Come on. Come on in. Let's go. Right. How y'all? Good. Show you around our place. We're kind of proud of it. Absolutely. How are you? Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Me... This is the lobby area. Very nice. Yeah. It, it, some... know, it, was, uh, it was an old, old bank, but then when we moved in, we added the offices and all. Come on back. Y'all come to yeah. my office or anywhere else you want to. I see you got some uh, children's pictures up here. I want to take a little look at that. That's yeah. always... What we did is I had those shelves made. Whenever children draw art and send it up here, we place it on the wall and we call that our community uh, wall of fame for the children that do pictures and stuff. Absolutely. Come on back. It's my office. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice. I, I'm, a, I'm a deer hunter extraordinaire, you see. So I like it. Yeah. I don't think anybody in North Florida is not a deer hunter. Well, except you, for my wife. Well, now. <laughs> Holy moly! You're right. You do. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you see all the. My mom passed two years ago. I'm sorry to hear so that. So most of this. Well, you know, she's in a better place. But most of this stuff was given to me by her. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most of the cars, and you know, I used to collect police cars and all that other stuff. Of course. 30 some odd years in the business, you see, it uh, you end up getting a pretty nice collection. Of no different uh, stuff, right. And all that was antique stuff that's been used throughout the years by my family that I had placed in a box. And okay, now your family's uh, three, four generational law enforcement? I'm the second. My dad was sure. sheriff here in Swanee County uh, prior to Tony Cameron, and uh, he did 44 years and six months in the business. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, little stuff, those old badges were all from local history here. Uh, I worked here when the uh, police department uh, merged with the, with the county, and then we came back in 96, and I've held every agent, every position in the agency since that time. That's a nice old gun up there, too. How old well, was that gun? Now, let me tell you a story on that. That was recovered in the city when they were digging a, um, a gas line. So... Where the softball fields are here in Live Oak used to be the dump around here, so we don't know if that could have been used in anything. You don't know. It, it, to me, by the shape of it, I'm a gun fanatic, but by the shape of it, it's an old Colt, and those were the pieces that were recovered, so I had them placed together to put inside of a plaque. Yeah. Uh, you know, just uh, I'm huge into to history and stuff, you know. Me too. So while you are yes. here, I'll give each of you one of these. These are my challenge coins. On the back is Matthew Thank 5 9 much. that says, Blessed are the peacekeepers. I know that in this day and time that we as, uh, wow. we as law men, we take a beating pretty regular. Uh, but I'm one of those that firmly believe you work for the community and we do work for the taxpayer, and the taxpayer deserves the best we can get. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's just the way it is. Bro. Yeah, it's just the way if you were to go out to uh, any, any place that you want service at. Well, uh, we're no different than you. Yeah. And, and what I tell them is, is you never say that there's nothing we can do or. Uh, because there's always something you can do, yeah. always. Yes. But you know, this is our place. A little old, ain't much to it. But uh, you're welcome it's anywhere nice in this place right? you want to be, my friend. Well, yeah, we just wanted to system. stop in and take a look. I'm from down south of Ocala, so are you? I'm sorry I, to hear that. Yeah, me you're too. Welcome to God's country. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> Me, me too. So I don't get up here often. So it's nice to come out and visit some of these places and and see how everything's going. Yeah, ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that, bro. Definitely I mean, one of the best public relations. Uh, yeah, well, who knew you're gonna find? I yeah. promise you this. That's um, I got in this business. I'm going on my 32nd year. School resource officer. I've done it all, and and we're here to serve, and that's what I try to instill in these people today. But I will tell you that the hiring pool is a lot slower and lower, and uh. You know the care, and 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 that's a two-sided sword. I mean, we're just driving too many wedges, and that's not what it's about. It's about trying to be a people as one. And and like I said, I was born and raised right here. The people that live here deserve the best I can give them, and the best these men and women can give them. So you know, it's a beautiful area. I tell you, uh, I talk to people on from England. And they comment when I put the videos out that I yeah, it's uh, live oaks a very beautiful areas, area. How there's no trash and mm -hmm. the woods. Are trashed over there in the rivers, and I'm like, that's why I moved to this area. Well, it is so beautiful. It, it is a beautiful place, and you know, my grandson lives in Jacksonville, and when he's here on the weekends, we ride the 
right away picking up trash with my golf cart and all that other because I kind of want to teach them that's what it's about. You got to take care of what little resources we have left and uh, y'all know man we're multiplying so fast and right and people are people flocking to Florida. More. That's right. And yeah. they are. Yeah. And they are. But this area is booming. I mean, you're welcome anywhere else in here you want to be. Thank this you very is, much. Uh, like I said, we work for the people and it's the people's place just as much as it is mine. For all of us. That's well, we appreciate yeah. 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 We were hoping we would be uh, right. You better be or, <laughs> or we'd have a problem. We're going to find a public request form. Uh, public public request. Well, all of our public records except it here, my, my public records keeper is over there. If you're asking for any public records from the city of Live Oak, they come from the city clerk. All of our records here would pertain to police. The city clerk over by the courthouse? No, sir, the city clerk right here, oh, uh, next okay. door. In next the building door. in the building right beside you is City Hall. Okay. Uh, but, you know, all you have to do is ask verbally or, or however, if there's anything that you want, we'd be more than happy to give it to you. Okay. Uh, but our city clerk, with all city business, is in the building next door. This house is the police department over. Yeah, I think okay. he's looking for just the police department records, right? I'm looking for body cam and car cam if you got it of, a, of an incident. Yeah, okay. That, that uh, was... Can you give me the incident date or anything such as that? Yeah, April 4th to, and April 5th, I think, is when they arrested the three teens at Rob Bundy's, and then you guys picked them up over here on a... That was a county case, wasn't it? Well, they told me that, uh, that the sheriff, you guys, and ATF was involved. I don't know if we have any body cam. It would take you just a minute to find out. Of yeah, the, but I was told all three, all three agencies was involved with it. Well, Lundy's is in the county. Um, let me uh, let me ask a question. Now I already request that. I already request the sheriff's, but from what I understand, though, that there was three different. Let me just find out if we have any body cam from that incident. I'm not certain that we were involved in the arrest or not. But well, the arrest is where I'm. Where my understand. But let me find out because I can't tell you right off the top of my head. I know there were some rest. Give me one second. Yes. Yeah, Dave. They're gone. It's the first one I ever heard of that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's something to collect. Yeah. Well, I got a pretty large collection of them. Yeah, he's got, I was going to say he's got a big case That's of them in there. I've never seen one. Uh, they're mostly from the military. That's how it started. Uh, it's like I thought all my phones started going off. Well, the teams that were arrested uh, that did the uh, Lundy's burglary, were we there and did, did we, we have any of the body cam footage from the arrest? Or did you know? Deceased K9. We yeah. now have a. We had a couple of. We had a bloodhound and we had a uh, lab. And I got away from the bite dogs. Uh, I just think you have to have the person with the right personality to handle one. And we now have a Belgian Malinois that we just recently got. Oh, the nice. Drug dog, police dog. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love an ugly little dog, but you know they're pretty awesome. Them Belgian Malinois are. They're pretty cool. I, I, I myself love German Shepherds, but I, I believe like you do that you know you got to have the right person controlling them, or else it could be a terror, especially uh, civilly for the department. They have to be socialized, and, and they get their social behaviors from the way they're treated and the way they're handled too. Uh, but uh, yeah, my dogs are big, big crybabies. <laughs> well, I lost mine last year. I had I had a lab at lab mix, seventeen years old. She finally passed away, and I'm not getting another. Well, I did I did get a Jack Russell. Yeah. I had it for about three months. Is it crazy? Never. That was enough for you, huh? Again. Yeah, They're one shut up. Aren't they? One shut up. You gotta have you gotta have <laughs> the time for them things too. Now, yeah, they, they need to run. And furniture and walls and everything else. <laughs> we had one. Well my daughter had one. She's I'll like, Here mom, again. you don't have to We don't have a dog anymore. Our last two our grandkids took them. Yeah. Well <laughs> I would say one will find you, don't worry. Well my grand I got <laughs> my grandbaby would be two in July and that's been the, 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 the 
a lot of my life, man. Yep. It changes the perspective on most everything. Yep. I've got yep. two step grands, and they're just as important. But this right. one. Yep. Yeah. Man. Yep. yep. You can see it all. <laughs> well, I'm Buddy Williams. I'm the chief of police. You just had them great. And, Buddy uh, Williams, thank you, sir. If y'all need anything our way, yep. Well, thank you. Feel, feel free to come see us. I don't know us. if I'll ever be Any back time. up here again, but if I am, I'll let you hey, know. Hey, come on back to God's country now. <laughs> you have to be hey, stuck down there. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you too. See you later, maybe. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty good interaction there. Seat to me, huh? No, no, that's the first time I've ever actually been invited into the, the police department where they weren't trying to arrest me. <laughs> Usually when they're inviting me in, they're, they're doing so to, uh, to arrest me or something. I sort of, sort of held back. I wasn't sure. Mm. You know, he was, he was way too many. 257. 257? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you guys better get out of here to get your doctors.